I hope that Fela will be, uh, for our era, like a returning warrior. Somebody who has um, made his mark in another time, gone off to another, an island somewhere, and then we bring him back for fresh eyes, or maybe some eyes that are not so fresh, but eyes that are hungry to see him again, and that people get excited about the music he made. Either you loved him or you detested him. Of course he wasn't perfect. Fellow was very, very authoritarian he, with, with his band, with his people around him. He was very, but he was very demanding. The music had to be perfect. The dancing had to be perfect. The choreography had, had to be perfect. They were about creation. They were about music. They were about dancing. They were about everything which had to do with creating, being creative. And here was this play respecting this, these beliefs, bringing forward these beliefs in a way that a whole public could understand what this man was about. When you walked into the Off-Broadway show, you were immediately thrust into a place that some Nigerians said reminded them of Fela Shrine. That was a great compliment to me. I mean, I was shocked to see that the shrine was reproduced with such tremendous accuracy. Bill Jones is being faithful to the character. He's being faithful to truth. He has shown an amazing integrity. Everything in this show was based in a reality that is our reality. I think our job is maybe even compounded going to a larger venue uh, on Broadway. Um, where people have a lot of anxiety about, quote, understanding what they're supposed to be getting. And they're maybe not so inclined to hear with their butts, which is one way that you hear Fela. You hear it with your hips, you hear it with your, your uh, rib cage. The dancers, they were so happy. They were doing these things, they were repeating, 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 and always with the same type of energy and the same type of passion. So I said, really, the spirit of Fela, really, they have really understood the spirit of Fela. Now we go dance for you now. These people are all possessed by the spirit of the shrine and by the spirit of Fela and by the spirit of Kalakuta, which was a spirit of liberation and of personal emancipation and joy. I believe that Fela uh, with his stance, this kind of clenched fist, belligerent, confrontational stance toward power is always relevant. Here, you're inviting people to really come into the life of someone else who's some, saying something significant for all of us. Yes, he is a man speaking to us from 1978, but we all know as we sit in the audience that he's really speaking to us in 2009, 2010. I believe that this economic meltdown, that these things which are happening in the world in the last two or three years have brought people to question a little bit the way in which they have been living. They have been living in a bubble. And Fela was precisely always pricking at that bubble, saying, hey, wake up. So I believe that this play is going to precisely have that effect, the effect that Fela wanted to touch people and say, hey, wake up. Because that's what this play is about. It's about waking up. So is Fela the man for the time? I think he is, but I think Fela is a man for all time. <laughs>